To the children, I would say this. Listen to your parents and enjoy every day that you have as a child. I know that they don't, don't sound like they know what they're talking about, but trust me, mama and dad, grandparent, uncle, they know what they're talking about. And I know it's very hard because as a child, you know, we, we just want to gravitate towards the impulses, you know, the food, the candy, the plane and everything. But our parents are there to guide us in the, in, the, in the right path. So I would challenge every child, please listen to your parents. If they can just listen to their parents, they'll be all right if they just obey their children. No different than we obey God. I believe that um, our parents are our first gods, our first God. And if a child can learn to be obedient to their parent, I believe that that prepares them for their walk with God. Listen to your parents. Um, don't be afraid to tell your parents uh, what's going on in your life. Um, be open with them about uh, how you feel, but be respectful, number one. Um, respect your parents. Your parents are doing what they feel is in your best interest. Um, and sometimes, you know, we make mistakes as parents. But um, I think together uh, we can learn to love each other. Uh, we can learn to respect each other. We can grow in, uh, in our relationships. And um, children are our future. We're the next generation in this world. And you can be the president. <laughs> you can be what a, a doctor or whatever you want. But whatever you are, do it with your whole heart and, and soul and just mean it. And um, I, I, I think that there is nothing that um, you can't do in this life if you put your mind to it. Work, hard work, and dedication. God loves each and every one of you because you're a gift of God and you are God's creation. You are created in the image of God and he loves you so much and he wants to see you develop into the person that he's called you out to be. And there's nothing that you can't do. But whatever you do, see it all the way through. God wants you to, he wants you to understand that he does love you, but he requires something out of you. And that's at every stage of life. You know, sometimes he just requires you to be a good kid. Listen to your parents. And as you grow up, he wants you to be a, a person that makes good decisions, good sound decisions, you know, be based on what you've learned in your life. Listen to your parents. Um, you know, you know right and wrong. Nobody has to tell you what's right and wrong. You know what's right and wrong. Do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. And I guarantee you, when it's all said and done, uh, you're gonna you're gonna come out on top. Man, you know, when I was 15 years old, nobody was really telling me about God. And the influence I had, really, my mom, my dad, my dad really wasn't around, but, man, but God. Man, you just, you know, Malachi dad, they got a little saying is, when you become a Malachi dad, when you come to him, the best way that you can understand God when, when you is broken. See, when you become to a broken state and there is nowhere else to turn, man, God, he just, about you have to really have faith. It can be small as a mustard seed, the most least you see in the world. But you have that little faith, man. He gonna show up in your life. He gonna send somebody to you. They gonna help you. They gonna mentor you, and just lead you on that right path, man. You know, even though it, I was too late at doing it. But guess what? When God comes, it's never too late. But you gotta just get on that right path, you know. And I pray, and I pray for that 15 year old or that teenager that's struggling right now with anything. Man, did he just turn to God or turn to someone that can help him, man? You know my favorite scripture, Proverbs 16, 7, it say, When a man weighs, pleases God, he make even his enemy be at peace with him. Drugs, alcohol, whatever. Man, you just turn to God and have that faith. Man, God going to send you somebody. God is a promising God, and he going to keep his promises no matter what you're going through. You might say, well, I'm young. Well, and you know, I have time to get right with God. Yeah, but when you become accountable and have the full knowledge of right from wrong and understand, look, that's a sin, you are held accountable no matter what age you is. So, you know, now's the time. My mom used to always tell me, well, now since I'm in prison, man, baby, I'm so glad you turned to Christ. I know one thing. 
well, Christ, see you. I always say, Ma, you know what, man? My my joy and my faith and my hope is that you be with me, man. I want look, I want to see you go to heaven too, man. I don't care. Like I tell my little nephews, I got two little nephews. They both eight years old. And I always tell them, I say, man, you know who God is? Yeah. I say, who is God? Where he live up there. I say, he sure is right. I say, man, God died for you and me, man. I say, if he didn't die, I say, man, we wouldn't be here right now today. They just like, all right. But you got to have a full understanding of who he is. Once you get that full understanding of who he is, you held accountable, man. And I say to kids, man, you know, to me, it's, man, it's joy living for Christ, man. Just think. You couldn't even think. You couldn't even imagine being in a kingdom forever. No sickness. Everything. Just, man, no, I'm talking about no problems, no worries. Could you imagine that?